NBS Happening Now. Another question was, is the country secure? Is Ugandan secure? Uh, to respond to that, I can say that uh, Ugandans are secure and safe. We are moving on. As far as transformation of this country is concerned, is concerned. So, my colleague, Mr. Obed, will help me to highlight more on that one. Then, on the issue of AFCON, AFCON, my colleague, Honre Variomus, is coming and uh, he will respond to that question. Then there is my daughter who wanted to know the theme in Uganda. I've tried to translate it in Uganda, and it goes by Okunyeza Ebyen Kura Kura Namugwanga, Noktuara of Nanzwabwe Gwanga, Liafe, Uganda. Sustaining a united and progressive nation, taking charge of our future as a free nation. Okunyeza Ebyen Kura Kura Namugwanga, no kutwara obufu na njizu wabwe guanga liya fe, liya wamu. Let my colleague Obed help me in responding to some of the questions raised. Others, I do not pay attention while you raised them. I thank you. Okay. Thank you, Honorable Minister. Let me begin with top media who says these are extravagant celebrations that do not merits Ugandans. These are not extravagant celebrations. You may need to, if you want to know how much it costs, uh, the office of the president has uh, an accounting officer called Haji Kakande. You, you can drop in and he'll give you the cost. These are the cheapest celebrations, but we make them for purposes of reminding ourselves that we have gone an extra mile in charge of our destiny, and to highlight the vagaries of, of uh, living and occupation. I think some of you who follow history and uh, current affairs, you know what is happening in parts of West Africa, but which was largely uh, as a result of a mess caused by the colonialists. So these celebrations are not expensive, and I urge you to, and every time the Auditor General uh, makes a report, even highlights how much each event costs. It's not expensive, uh, comrade. Then you, someone talked, are we in independence? And then, of course, let me add on what the minister has said about corruption. I think if you follow events, our courts of law are full. Convictions are being made to those who are corrupt. Arrests are being made day in, day out. The government has formed several agencies that are active, uh, arresting those that are corrupt and corruption court, IGG, DPP, CID, State House uh, Corruption Unit, and others. So, and you can see, convictions are all over, uh, all over, our prisons are full of the corrupt. They don't take their innocent people. So, it's about adding, I'm, I'm increasing in the momentum, like the Honorable Minister advised, and then support, and even you, the free media. By the way, the free media plays the most, the reason the government allows Free media is because you play a big, big, big role in fighting corruption. Are we independent? Very much so. The biggest thing is that you are in charge of your destiny, you, not someone from uh, across the Atlantic. We can have our disagreement, we can have our fights, like you saw in Parliament one time, but it's also, that's also good. Not someone across the oceans to determine where you're going. We determine where you're going. We may have our challenges, we may have our shortfalls, 
but it is us in church, and we are moving. Um, then someone talked about we are supposed to be celebrating independence from disease, illiteracy, and, and blah, blah. If I can give you some figures, we are one of the countries that have reduced tremendously infant mortality rate. Um, we have 100% immunization levels, meaning we no longer die of the other famous diseases that were ravaging our children then. And the fact that life expectancy has moved to 62, that is because we have medical facilities and we do access them. That's why you live longer. Let me also rub it in with the question that said, do you only remember to offer medical services to when you are going to celebrate? No. The fact that we, life expectancy has increased is because on a daily basis it is increased uh, um, of, uh, services of health nature to the, uh, to the citizens. That's why mortality rate um, uh, has, in fact, mortality rate has reduced and life expectancy has gone up. It's because there is daily access. It's only when you are going to have such a date, and we feel it is good manners, that we also do something uh, adding on what has been traditionally offered. That we say, like this one, it is free. We feel before we celebrate, let's have additional offer. Just good manners, social responsibility. Finally, uh, the Honorable Minister said, Honorable Humans will shed more light about preparations of AFCON and the elections. But let me also add that the government, before it undertakes any obligation that has a financial implication, they do budget for it. There is, you don't just jump into something before you have thought about it and planned how you get the money. So money will be got, and both elections and the AFCON will be sponsored. But the Honorable Minister will shed more light on that one. Members, on that note, like the minister said, we shall let's go and celebrate. Let's be proud that we have moved this uh, this far, and everything points to the right direction. If you're talking about education, the colonials left one university called Makere. Now we have over 12 public uh, public universities, and we even have extra private universities. I think we are now at 50. All that, are, all those are milestones, and these public universities are spread across the whole region. It's no longer central material around. So, there is a reason to celebrate. Whichever our shortfalls, we shall discuss them as citizens and find the way forward. On that note, members, the honorable minister will have, wants to do some small, uh, also a natural interview with Baba. Allow me to let her go and talk to the Baba people. Thank Okay. Thank you. Now, how much is government planning to spend on these celebrations? Okay. Then it's certain. Um, of course, you said that the government is in charge of the country, and partly you can see that. Mm. But what I don't think is you really need to address in time before anything gets worse. Thank you. Well, I, I implored you that uh, the person in charge is the permanent secretary office of the president. Kindly look to him. He's a free person. He'll tell you the, how much. It's a, mo a modest figure, but I don't want now to talk on his behalf. But I've given you the person in charge. Talk about said being in now. Parliamentary or local government to sponsor violence. We can have free and fair elections and violent free elections and Ugandans be given an opportunity to cast their votes. So, we are responding to your question that we don't expect violence. Again, uh, to be there, but should anybody be misled by Satan to think that he can sponsor violence, the state shall be ready to crush whoever thinks he can cause trouble. 
hii ni Uganda. So and therefore there will be no tear gas. So we do believe that we shall have a smooth election and then the elections will not in any way undermine our holding of AFCON 2027. Uh, Ronnie is asking that he, he has he said there are rumors that the government intends to switch off internet. So you want the Minister of Information for the government of Uganda to address your rumors. First of all, I'm not even aware that the Bobby Wine is returning. Where is he? I thought he's in the country. He's outside the country. Yeah? He's coming back from where? Yeah? On Saturday. Where is he coming from? Canada. From Canada to Uganda? Yes. As government, we are not even bothered. He can come either in a parachute or in a helicopter or in what? He's a Ugandan, like a core of us. Is not a bad or stopped from coming to Uganda. He should return like any other person returns to Uganda. So your fears of shutting it, why? What is the, the connection between shutting down the internet and his return? His Excellency is going to be in Congo. Congo Well, as long as those assemblies are held in accordance with the law, there should be no problem. But he, I was not aware of his return. Uh, of course, I'm sure he's returning with many other Ugandans on the plane, whether he's using Emirates or whichever he's returning. And he, there should be no reason to shut down the internet. Why? You see, there is an English word called megaromania. Megaromania means giving yourself a sense of self-importance, make yourself very, to appear very important. So it is maybe his supporters who think it is so important that when he's returning to Uganda, the government will have a sleepless night. We don't have sleepless nights. We are sleeping very calmly and soundly. I didn't even know that he's out of the country. It's you who is telling me. So we are not bothered about his movements. He's a Ugandan in any case, like any other, and he's free to move from place to place, to go outside, to come back. So I don't think there is anybody thinking of switching off uh, the internet. In any case, even if we switched off internet, the plane will still land in the table, which will bring him. So uh, those are just the uh, and founded fears which should not worry anybody. Then our friend from BBS was asked about King Mumbere of Obsinga Gwenzururu that he is returning tomorrow. And I'm saying, why are we putting resources? That's what you were meaning. First of all, Kasese is a district in Uganda. And you were saying that he supports opposition. Who told you? Who won Kasese in the last elections? NRM won. At the level of presidential elections, President Yoel Museven scored the highest vote. In terms of parliamentary seats, I think out of six seats, NRM took three, opposition took three. And uh, this was moving from a position where all the six MPs had been opposition. So you can as well confidently say Kasese is an NRM supporting district or community. But that aside, the NRM government restored cultural and traditional institutions in Uganda. And they do operate within the framework of the law. And uh, King Mumbere, as you know, had issues with the law. We all recall what happened in the Kasese, but he, he was pardoned 
and all the issues have been sorted and allowed to get back to his kingdom. His kingdom. And he's entitled to his rights like any other Ugandan. So I didn't get properly what the concern is if he's getting back into his kingdom. His people are free to receive him and jubilate and celebrate with him. And the government has no big issue with that. In any case, the issues which had caused his arrest and his other subjects have been resolved because there has been an engagement between the kingdom and the government, and those issues have been sorted out. And you know he was under house arrest for a period of time, but that has been sorted out, and he's free to return and get back into his kingdom, and then continue running it as a king. So we have no big issue, and we wish him well, and the people of West Rural Kingdom. Those are Ugandans, and the government supports all the Ugandans, whether you belong to cultural institutions or not. Our duty as a government is to ensure that we provide the services to all Ugandans, irrespective of whatever makes us different. So we wish the king uh, the best and God's blessings as he returns to his kingdom in Western Uganda. Then last, the last question was about the, the LC1 elections. Yes. Uh, last time I was here and I did announce that government had extended the term of office for the LC1 chairpersons in Uganda. And the law allows an extension for six months and it can be renewed. It can be renewed after the six months have expired. Yes. So you are saying the Electoral Commission requires three months to organize elections. I don't know where have you got that one from. That one is speculative that the Electoral Commission requires three months to organize elections. That is just speculation. Anyway, the point is we extended the term of office of our LC1 chairperson, the whole country, for six months. When the six months elapse, then the government shall consider the next decision. There are two options. Either we can hold elections after the six months, or we can choose to extend for another six months. Yes. All those options, both options are possible, and the law allows them. Yes. The problem, most of you don't read. You read the law, what does the law say? The law says you can extend for six months, and those six months can be renewed. So you should read the law so that when you report, you report accurately. So when the six months end, we shall have two options. Either, and the debate will be, should we hold elections now, we are aware we are about to go into generations, or should we? Because I told you then uh, that our focus as government, why we chose to postpone elections, is that uh, we were weighing we are implementing the NRA manifesto. We did pledge to put resources in the development funds, like the parish development model, like the Myoga, so that we target the vulnerable, the poor, those who are in subsistence livelihood, to get them out of poverty. So the debate within the government was, amid this scarcity of resources, how do we prioritize? Should we prioritize LC elections or we first mobilize money for parish development model? Yes, because life is about options and prioritizing. And then we said, no, let's hold on in the elections. The money which we would have used for elections, 
let's put it in the parish development model to send to Ugandans for them to get out of poverty. And that's what we are giving 100 million Uganda shillings to every parish every year. And this money is moving. For those of you who are Christians, even Jesus spoke about prioritization. When you read the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 6, verse 33, Jesus said, Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and the rest shall be added unto you. The rest shall fall in line. And there are very many things to do, but focus on the kingdom of God and his righteousness. Once you get that, then the rest shall be added unto you. So we'll talk about prioritization. Don't do everything at a go. Focus on one thing which will lead you to others. So even in our constellation as a government, we said, let's first, let's seek the kingdom of wealth creation. And then the rest shall be added unto us. That if we get Ugandans out of poverty, and we mobilize those who are in subsistence livelihood to get some income and be part of the money economy, then the rest will fall into line. The rest will fall. That's the philosophy. So in taking some of these decisions, we are not only trying to be frugal, but we are also very biblical in our approach. So basically, we were comparing those. So that one of the LC elections, we shall handle when time comes. After the six months, we shall evaluate and see. So and look at those options. Should we hold the elections then, or we can still push on and fast strengthen PDM and other development programs? But eventually, we shall hold elections. Uh, that one should not worry us a lot. Come away, Muruganda, Mubufunze, then to Malirize. Or rather, it was the one who called up on Songa, as of a day, Mukunga and our cabinet, or what today, Joe, or the Premier's affair, President Yo and Seveni. We are in Muntebe, Togera could be into a Rienja or Soka, Kansoke, Nigirize, Abor Papola, Ogua Observer, Kuanga, which a Riva and Ika, which cabinet the Ayuganda Taina Mani, Suara Sovara, Kuchalina Cabinet, President Govatari Walk, Echo Chagulimba, Wang and Kolaya Fair Cabinet. President Ngoabata Liwo, Vice President, the West Tiba Vice President, Yatura Muntebe, at Cabinet in Echika. Ngoa President, the Vice President Teba Liwo, Prime Minister, Yatura Muntebe, Cabinet in Echika. Our Vasatu Teba Liwo, Vice Deputy Prime Ministers, Mu Protocol, the Basola Puchalinga Cabinet. So, such truthful. Chokwani Gamauli, the Cabinet of Uganda, President of Bataliwo, Cabinet of the Sovara Kutula. Basava, Abama Uli, Bobo Yagara information in Toina, information in Burundi. We are going to get the government, Baba information, Mosovole Kwandika, no Kutusa, a bit too full, Twandiaga, the Timuandika, what a Mufurumia. Uganda. <laughs> Katibina, a Maz Malunji, Naye, the Tumulagi and a cabinet, the Valaventi, Bobaba Wedesavantu, a Maza Malunji, to Wedesavantu, a Sonda Zona, the 
Tumura Giranti, Balavet Mukulanza Ministry, Yamazi, Tibulicharo, Chibere China, Source Yamazi, Amarunji, Oba Tapu, Oba Naikondo, Oba Oba again Kuba, Rainwater Harvesting, Balavet Tibulicharo, Uganda, Chibere China, Amaz Amarunji, Yawa Kozesa, Omaka. Choku Vidi, Minister Wensonga, President Tambula, Nemi Limo, Works and Transport, Yare Se Akachiko, Ketwa Isemu, Akagenda of Kulembera, Chitongo Echayunura, Akachiko Ka Board of Directors, Akaliko Avantumukaga, Etuka Isamu, Ale Agenda Ka Kulembera, Kachia Person, the Engineer Dr. Gustin. Obiero Mugisa, Ate Etuisamu Nava and Tubatano, Abagi and Dakuba member of Akachiko, Katavarimu, which team were engineered in Nakate, Seguja, Yariko, MOP, Wero Wero, Nomuchara Magulet, a joke, a dodge or team, an engineer Stephen Kiwanuka Kitonsa, Omara, a doctor Henry Sepkera, Nomami Paul Patrick Manja. We have again the cover of Kachiko, a cardboard of directors, a strong one, a chayunura, a mulimoga board, a collaborant management of our cozy, of our government, a very much strong one, a bakola, a bimogurunji, banga board, a chikiri minister, a mukulavira, a strong one, two of our cole, a mulimogurunji, traveling good other fair, Dongo se kubanga yunura ifunani se kukula banti inguto za fe ziti kurunji mwanga. Fayo gede kunenso nga yeoru chiko orukuru minister weso nga dhabgeru wa foreign affairs wajitibu wa JJ Odong ye haya njuri de cabinet na tuwa update ye tutu use omukutegeka enchivo hili Ogwa non aligned movement, Nogwa G77 or group of 77 countries, ne China. As again, the Kutura, Kampara, Mwez, Ogwa January, Omako Guja, Ogwe Kumibiri, Abiri Munya. The Kutura Kova, and Nakuminatano, Okutuka, Abiri Musatu, January 2024, at the Jaguar Twina, Abakore Mbezevanji. Mawanga manji kata handisiye kukonfaminga. Ntipa presidenti wa abwe wa jakubela wanu mu Uganda. Jakubela lukunga na guamanyi nyo. Kale tusaba wana Uganda. Tulaventi tukulele wa mu. Kate nchiko zitambule burunji. Kati nsiyo nao kusala munti Uganda. Yebele tuza nchiko. Zineza na nela indi movement. Zileta mawanga gona mwusi. Neji 77 chitegeza Uganda esiyo neji wakira ateji laba ngesi e kula kulana egenda maso mbi intu kienja ulo ate mwezo wa januari mwuchiko uwe de Uganda yegenda kuba e chairinga oba e kure embera yu non aligned movement Malemiak is Sato. I really, I really munya, or took I really, I will moon sound. At no more car or war, I will munya, Uganda, Yenda Kube Kurembera, at a HB Nature G seventy seven, the China, Yenda Kuba, a trial of Kurembeze, which takes anti and Sizona Zimani Uganda, CC Amani, at a Ekoze binji, yesonga rachi, amawanga gona, gaji wakalungu, yegenda kule embera, utongo lebe nu, ate yegenda kutuzo uchiko, wanu mkampala. Kati minisa, yatu wate hapo deti, ebi, enteke kazi genda maso, ale tuchaku watu tuli rede, mungako kwenye kumibili ya mili munya, mjenuari. Wadi webi huzo, yimubu ziza, Kamedemu mrufute fute. Nga mchimanyi 
nti Uganda, Kenya ne Tanzania bya wangu de uh, oku okulaba nti mu 2022 musanvu ate mpaka zimpira ya Afcon zija kubera mawanga gano aga Uganda, Kenya ne Tanzania chintu chikuru nyo uh, wanga za alipaka na mawanga maragali gagala okubati ga hostinga emizanyo ate Uganda ne Tanzania ne Kenya ne biwangura kati muna Uganda ata yagala ekwangaliye yande bade musanyufu kubanga kitegeza nti amawanga gafe gatambula ate ne nsenda razigala banti mawanga uh, agenda maso wali wabuze zanti tujja kubera rede kubanga tuli na kaluru e 12 abiri mukaga tekaja kutwala sente nyingi no sanga anti ti tuli betegefu ibira abiri musango nedda tujja kuba tuli rede ki kisinzira ingereje tugenda kutegeka tujja kulaba anti aweta ajibwa wa sente nebyo byonna tujja kuba tuli rede kubanga bano ba asesinze nibasanga nti ebiyetajiwa webiri tubirina ate chikuru nti si Uganda yoka tujja kuba tukolagana nga mawanga satu ate tujja kuba twetegese tulabenti events zino zitambule burungi mu mawanga gafe maro abuzi zanti waliwo loyo omuya wandise na sabanti basazemu Chogu hosting of con, no mugu road mayor, Vada Gambati, Chitchivino, Okravanti Uganda, I say mu, Nondo was a Vagara Mauli, a Yotavina Makuru, so the Tujaku is a Makuru, Wanga, the road mayor, ye mayor, which you will get the Musanyo Funti, a Pagas and Zempira, the Jamushi Bugache, Chogamanti, Simusanyo Fu, Tujaku Musa and Piramaveta and say, a full me wa bugero naye na bugero bajja kwa bajira ba ku TV pozi TV ati jeko agende mu buliri ateke bulanji tiku mutwe gweta na matu nakateka mu pamba na atawula biche bigenda mu masa daye chanaku okusaka ndo mukulembeze yande bade nagamba eh Uganda ni season nazi chimanyiti igenda mu masa ata yogera engero ta yogera eh na yeche zibuti wala abamwalo boza tibuli chintu chona ichigenda maso tushiteke muri ya bufuzi wala we bintu biberawo musibya ya bufuzi nke yuganda ku bidinga ni winninga okostinge nizanyo ya afcon iyo sibya ya bufuzi iyo ya fili ya bana yuganda so waberewe bintu bitugata gabana yuganda such truth to be chit to now, Jolava. What else take a more politics? What else take a more Yabafuzi? So, if you're if you're Jogenda Maso, Babo Gere, Baba Korachi, Jogenda Maso, for one good day, a chocolate of Koniwanu, Jacquetica, to prevent Uganda, the Kenya, the Tanzania, to against you now, and to Sobola, a team is a new etamble. Etambule Burundi. Walewa wa wada wada mwenye la kirifuti. Mukalura kagua. Aki avili avili mugumu. Wawe la mu. Wabati ya gasi. Wakufa kwa bantu. Ntipitipiki nda kutisa bantu. Abaja mu Uganda kubwe mizanyo. Awapiri jengu wala. Fawaki nda mukaluru. Luachua wote keka karuru. Noru uza doki. Oja kuleta akavuyo kekagenda kuwa bururu fena tugende mu karuru twetegese echikuru tuberene message yetuweleza bana Uganda abana Uganda basale mu aniwe bagara okubabera mu kulembeze oba kubwa president oba kubwa MP na eche che chajisa okulete mivuyo atengo oleto mivuyo police na biliyo kwerinda bacha kwata mu kubanga ku mulimo kweba kweba kola No more day, I remember the Kirivroni, why impact radio? Tomokuru 
president wa nuku takoma o mu Uganda gokuna dia only dent government agenda ku sala ko internet nimuvuza nti mbate simanyiti ukucha gura nitali mu Uganda wange tetugobera da jatambulira so e yozibera ruma za tisi ja ku ja wa nunga minister da ya kuogera ku ruma ku ruma kuba koma mu Uganda balero ba ncha ba next week icho tetchina ko buzibu kuanga mu Uganda I na freedom of time, but I am Uganda. We are going to have a So, still was a new sala ko internet. Then you just saw what I could So, ayo, ayo, tiwa ya likiriza. I just come out. I tell you, makage. I call it minimoje. Kuvanga government. We tambla. We are going to tambla. We are going to have a Uganda. It's a school of warfare of our government. No matter what is up to Cha King Mumbere, Kabaka, Wabakonjo, we of a singer by Gwenzurun Takoma Wencha, King Domeye, E. Gwenzururu, Nagam Rachi government, Twitter de Maman. Government Receiving a cassette, which is a true china gobuzibuanga government yakiza, Timucomera Vemu, a day remo kingdom. So it's a true china gobuzibuana. It's Sembayo, Mayoga de Kusonga, Yakaru, a Cairo C1, Banga Ruli, government yasalamu, Ogongera Tamu. Yaba Erosis, the Tubawa, a Mies Makaga, Gama Tega, the Kirisa. We have a dog who's anti a Mies Satu Catewedo, to Sigaza Mies Satu, or two Kakumies Makaga Jaba Eriza, a virus C1. A teach tongue with a child to commission Chetaga Mies in Yes Satu, or take a Kakaru, to Katamutu Sewa. Kati tuja kuli nde miyezi mkaga. Miyezi mkaga gobe uwe uwe deo. Tuja kuchitu dole la mutu rave oba. Tu gende mkaruru. Oba ungeze miyezi mkaga gendara. Kubanga chiragiro chikisa. Tusoba la kuonza miyezi mkaga. Novo ungeza mkaga. Mkaga chikisa. So, tetuna ba kuchiru oza ako. Sawa zinunga cabinet. Na yeye tuja kuli nda miyezi gobe. Wow, to just take a meza to rave over to Genemakaru over to Hungarian years Makaga. Do not be so for now. The two Navak to get a go government. Jacques Chegola go good able to say yes, Makaga were with you. Never let you, never let her. I hope today we don't have the Runyan College of Chica people. <laughs> you still want to yes. What do you want me to focus on? Because I have said many things. The question is. But I came here to tell you what the government decided. Mumbere and who? Afcon. No. Government. NBS happening now. 